Okay, I made myself some living picture frames. I saw them on Pinterest and I wanted a pair, so I made them. This was the first one I made. I went to the store and I got a wooden picture frame and I painted it and I sealed it and I made a back for it. And I haven't got the hooks in to hang it yet, but those are coming. And, oops, that's gonna go on the wall. Uh, to make this, I made the back, then I put the chicken wire down, and then this stuff's like an um, old man's beard. It grows locally around here in the woods on old trees, so I grabbed some of that, put that down, then I put the mud, and then I put the back on. So when I turned it over, I cut some holes in the chicken wire and then I put my plants in where I wanted them. And so that's what the first one looks like. Uh, this one we have locally, or I have in my yard, so I have a lot of this one, but everybody else I bought. And I just got regular button this one. The, it says you're supposed to use something with a lot of drainage because these plants don't like to sit in water, so I gotta put some drainage holes on the back of them. But I made this one about two weeks ago now, and he was looking a little, I think I overwatered him when I did him. He was looking a little soggy, and now it's been about two weeks, so he's starting to dry up, and he's actually looking a lot more perkier. I like this one. This one's actually got a little bit of pink on the edge of the leaves. I don't know if you can see that. Just, just like a blush, almost. It's really cute. And I got these guys. And the other guys are there too. And they'll grow and spread like this guy's. Had a couple of a little offshoots. I should probably point the camera at him. Um, so I put him in there, them in there, and they'll just keep growing and dividing and they'll hang down and they'll look really cool. And that's the first one I made. This is the second one. I actually made the frame on this one myself. I think it's trim out of one of those old Victorian houses that the, you know, in the mold, pardon me, the molding used to go around the door and it was really big and wide and really nice and they don't make that anymore. Anyway, I got a long strip of it at the dump last year and I didn't know what to do with it. And then I decided I was going to make picture frames out of it. Now this one would have actually been bigger had I known how to properly do 45 degree angles. I mean, it doesn't sound that hard, but in theory, nothing ever does. Anyway, I finally got this done. Um, they're not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was when I started. Uh, this came with paint already on it. It's got lavender, it's got blue, it's got a little green there, uh, orange, white, more green, pink, little crayon, little purple. I left the paint on there mostly because I liked it. I like all the colors of it. This adds a little something different to it, a little character. I don't mind the rough look. Now, for making the box, for this one, I use a different, not chicken wire, but just a different type of wire. And then I put burlap, and then I put the mud, and then I put the back on. Now, there's a difference in thickness. This one's got like a wide back to it. It's about that wide. I give you measurements, but I don't have any. And this one, uh, it's a lot skinnier. But yeah, I probably should seal that with some corking, but yeah. And then I get little holes, you can't really see them, but I get little holes in the back for drainage. So when you go to drain this guy, or water him, you just let him drain out. And then when he's all drained out, you just hang him back up again. Uh, this one I really like, and this one, it's got a little red ridge around the leaves. I watered them last night, so they're still a little damp. But these succulents, uh, I've been told and I've looked up, don't need an overly large amount of mud to grow in. They just kind of need something to hold on to, which is what I'm testing out with the thickness of this box. And this little cabbage guy down here, I forgot the name of him, but he's really cute. Um, he's got some bl blossoms coming on her. They like a lot of sunlight, so I've been leaving them outside for, I think I'll probably leave them outside for another two weeks before I bring them inside, because uh, first off, there's not much sun in my room, and 
Second is I want their root system to develop a bit more because you, you got to take them out of the pot and you got to knock all them out and you break the roots and you put them in. So I want the root system to expand to hold on a bit. So when you hang it up, I don't have threat of everybody going tonk in the middle of the night, like falling right out of the frame. So anyway, that's this guy. And I just really like how this one turned out. I'm really happy with this one. I know a lot of people don't like the paint stuff, but um, like it's oil paint. So like, what's the history? Is there, are they painting furniture? Are they painting buoys? I have food coloring on my hands. Um, yeah, and I just like it. They seem, these, this one actually seems to be doing a lot better than that one did when I first made it. I think maybe because I overwatered this yellow guy here. And now that it's been a few weeks, he's starting to dry up and he's starting to look more like, um, like a happy succulent display. This guy never got a lot of water and he's almost same as when I took everybody out. But yeah, as time goes, these guys will split and divide and fill up the entire thing and you probably won't be able to see the wire or the burlap, but that's okay because that's the point of it. And those are my two. <coughs> And those are my two living pictures. And thanks. See you next time.